fair fucks to Leicester, they've done exactly it. They've they they beaten they beat Chelsea, won the FA Cup. Look at him, look at the Don. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Love it, sir, get involved. Love it. Way! Leicester City have just gone and won the FA Cup. Fair fucking play. Chelsea are going to be kicking themselves because they had a ton of opportunities to win this game. Aspilicueta has to be putting his chance in the back of the net. Werner cocks it up. He really does. But Aspilicueta, he has to get his loaf of bread on it from six yards. Just get something on it, son. Just throw yourself in front of it. Just commit, yeah? I don't care. Just, you have to get your head on that. You have to be scoring. It's a big save from Schmeichel with about 10 minutes to go. Should be making it for a keeper of his quality, but he does make it and he keeps the lead for Leicester. And then... Another! <coughs> but this one is a mammoth save. It's a great volley from Mason Mate, but Casper Schmeichel gets down to his, to his low left and he gets there quickly as well. He has barely any time to do it. Does it with a snap of his fingers. Fair fucking play. It's a quality save. He keeps Leicester in the lead. Chelsea will be gutted with themselves and they fucking should be. They dominated possession. They had the lion's share of the ball. And Leicester just backed off and just allowed them to play football. So Chelsea should have took full advantage of that. They were without fight today. They didn't really... They didn't have that spirit. And it's not going to bode well for them if they go into a Champions League final with the same sort of attitude. Leicester put in a defensive shift today. And they played the tactic of hitting them on the counter to a deadly level. But they got away with it. They fucking got away with it. Leicester are extremely lucky that Tielemans hits an absolute belter. Let's not make any mistake of it, but what a fucking hit it is. It'll be an iconic FA Cup goal, not just for Leicester in particular, but just for the FA Cup in general. It's a fucking great goal, but VAR has stolen the show yet again. Chilwell deemed to be offside, but it's fucking harsh. Put it this way, if that happens in Liverpool, I'd be fucking heartbroken. I really would. Things would be thrown and flipped, okay? You're hard. I'd be losing my shit, and I'd look, I'd look like the colour of a tomato right now. I'd be fucking livid. It's his shirt sleeve that's offside. It's, I wouldn't even call it his shoulder. It's just from where they draw the line of the shirt sleeves and his shit that, that matters in football these days. See, these are the kind of incidents and situations where you look at it and you think VAR shit. It is what it is, but it's always great to see the underdog win and Leicester have done it. It's not quite a giant killing. You know, let's not, let's not get mistaken here. It's not like if I went in a fucking boxing ring and knocked out AJ, all right? It's not that sort of giant killing. It's not Wigan and Man City levels. But nobody expected Leicester to win. I think that everyone or most people had Chelsea to win this one. And I think the only people who had Leicester to win this one and genuinely believed that were Leicester fans themselves. And even half of those would have just been, you know, just hope and just praying for some sort of chance that they'd win this. Yeah, it's an upset. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I don't care. It's an upset. But it was great to see at full time what it meant for the fans of the club and what it meant to just the club in general to win their first FA Cup. I'm just interested in what this does for Chelsea's confidence before the Champions League final because they had possession, they had the ball, they had all the chances, all the opportunities, and they couldn't take them. Against Manchester City, they can't afford to do this. So what's it going to do for their confidence? I know they face Leicester again, and it's still important because they're fighting for the top four, but this one's going to hurt them. This one's a final. You know, if he goes into the end of the season, two finals, no trophies won... And then they don't finish in the top four. It's fucking ropes. It's ropes for him and Chelsea. He's done so well to get them to this point, And we can't forget that. But to go into two finals, this one especially where you're the favourite, and to not come out of it with any trophies at all would be abysmal. But it's fantastic to see Brendan Rodgers have a trophy. And for Leicester, it's fucking party time. It's a massive day for the club. Their fifth final in an FA Cup, and it looks like the fifth time's the charm. Yes, they're above Chelsea in the table, but as I said earlier, they weren't the fucking favourites, all right? Miss me with that bullshit. There was no way they were the favourites. I thought Chelsea were going to win this, and it just goes to show that big six, yeah, the European Super League, get it in the bin, because Leicester were not included, and now they've won the FA Cup. They could be in the top four. Big six, my arsehole. Who the fuck do Arsenal and Spurs think they are, right, to go on about a fucking European Super League when Leicester are winning more trophies than them? As I said before, don't try to predict football. You're not going to be able to do it. Have a good one, people. Catch you in a bit. Ta-ra.